What is going down my YouTube family? It is your boy Zary from the XMG and we are here today to do the second step to our beginner's guide. So the first step we went through, we talked a lot about orcs and getting Soleus unlocked. So we're gonna kind of pick up from there. But if you're just finding me for the first time, you're liking what you're seeing, click that subscribe button turn on notifications all that good stuff that goes along with it for all of my xmg family members out there you know i love you thank you for the love and support and for the new people out there join the family come on aboard it's a great time so let's jump into beginner's guide step two So here, we talked a lot about orcs. You have your team of Mortha, Korkra, Mar, Rantha, and Tromgar. And you were working to unlock Soleus. Now at this point, you don't want to stop working on your orcs until you get Soleus 7 star. Right? We went over that. But once you get certain character 7 star, you can start farming in different locations. So we're going to start setting up for the next person. Now... I am basing this off of the legendary characters that are found in the game and it makes the most sense to have the legendary character progression and that's how I'm doing it. So you've worked towards Soleus, you probably got him unlocked and you're working towards that 7 star tweaking gear here and there picking away. So we're going to go shift our focus and you do this because once you get Soleus 7 stars you stop orcs. And you move on to the next. So this will work too because it's going to give you pretty solid teams. that will help you out in raids. It will help you out in battlegrounds, tournaments, stuff like that. So the next legendary we're actually going to be working for is that guy, Mordoom. Mordoom makes a lot of sense. He needs humans to unlock him. And in the next step, he will be beneficial. He's a plug-and-play character. He can be used pretty much with any team. So... It makes the most sense. So with more doom as our next focus, we're going to move on to our humans. We have Soleus. You've been working towards Nightiel. Do not stop working towards Nightiel. She is a super hard, long farm. And the synergy between Soleus and Nightiel is exceptional. So we're going to leave that where it is. Just continue to keep farming her. Okay? So let's take a look at the humans. We have Garrett. I love Garrett, my favorite character in the whole game, but you're not going to get him. Not anywhere close to where you need him. It's going to take you months and months and months, and it's going to set you back. Darien, you get him to start, not worth the investment. You're going to have Soleus. You've been farming Cruel, right? So that's a plus. She is another long, hard grind. Freezard, you've been working your way towards Freezard. You're going to want Freezard in your team. Little Batty, which we're going to go over. You've been getting shards for Little Batty as you go. Eric Shieldbreaker, possibly Selena, Snorri, and the guy that's behind me, Robin Bad. You don't want him. So, that's where we're going to start. You want to build a team of five humans, and we're going to break them down right now. Obviously, you have Soleus, okay? You've been gearing out your orcs to get Soleus. You're going to get him ready to roll. He's going to be your leader. He's going to be a fantastic leader for humans, and... Just gear him up as high as you can get him and go from there, right? I mean, let's let's be simple. He is going to be used all the time when you're early, and he is just really, really good. Now, the next one up you have is Cruel. Cruel is so hard in a long farm, and sadly, she's only found in that one node or the marketplace, okay? And you do not want to spend 400 drop coins on markets, okay? You don't want to do that. She is only found in the Invasion of Demons, Chests of Humans, and Tournament Chests. Do not buy these chests. We're going to go over the Chests of Humans, Chest of Orcs. I got some questions on that. We're going to go over that. So you're working in your Invasions of Demons 3-6. You should already be there. You're farming her every single day. Freezard. Freezard is another extremely long, hard farm. Unless, if you are going to drop any sort of money in this game, there's going to be a Freezard pack 
that pops for you. I think it's like $1.99, $4.99, whatever. If you are going to spend money, that is something to spend money on. It is ungodly for its value. It'll save you weeks to months of farming this character. Awesome. Again, Freezard, you're going to need him on your human team. He is going to be your main damage dealer. And he can be found in the market again. We don't want that. We don't want the chest of humans. Dawn of Order 8-6 and Rage of Clan 7-12. So you're pushing yourself further and further. And we're going to get into campaigns and how we're farming here in a minute. Next one up is Little Baddie. Little Baddie can be found through your, you know, individual tournaments that you have. If, if that's what they're called. I'm trying to remember the name. Right here. These things. Your common tournaments or achievements that you have that go throughout the week. The more you do in those, the better we, you, you know, the more and more shards you get of her. So you want to complete those as far as you can. You get draw coins in there. You get a lot of resources, keys for chess, um, scrolls, depending on there, you know, so you really, or energy, you really want to push that as far as you possibly can. And you're going to be chipping away with little baddie over time. Now, Eric Shieldbreaker. We've been working on Eric Shieldbreaker, right? When it comes to the guild store. You've used your guild currency. You knocked off Rantha. Now you've, you've got Kyra up to five stars. You switched your focus to Eric Shieldbreaker. Now, when you switch your focus to Eric Shieldbreaker, there's some other things you want to keep in mind. You have the Dawn of Order 4-9 and the Demon Invasion 1-3, okay? So... That is just simply farm him. You're replacing those farm nodes from your orcs that you've hit the seven star with Eric Shieldbreaker. Eric Shieldbreaker is a great character. He brings a lot to the table and he's going to help you unlock more doom and gives you some viability later in the game because he does have the fighter tag, gladiator tag that'll help you out. And then Snorri. We've been farming Snorri, right? We've been farming Snorri out of our tower currency. Snorri can be find, found in Dawn of Order 512 and Rage of Clans 56. So again, we're replacing those orcs with the humans. And Snorri can be a brilliant substitute for Cruel in the More Doom event. So do not stop farming Cruel. You want to get her seven stars. She brings a lot to the table. Amazing character. But if you've gotten all your humans to seven stars except for Cruel, put in Snorri. Freezard is going to be really, really hard to replace on a human team for the more Doom event. But Snorri can make a difference. And you can get by with Snorri, no problem. I know people have done it. And that is fine. So we're going to continue to farm Snorri. So our human team is going to be a Solius lead. You're going to have either Cruel here or Snorri. You're going to have Freezard, you're going to have Little Batty as your tank, and then you're going to have Eric Shieldbreaker. Those are my five that I would recommend for the more Doom event. So we talked about chess, right? And I had you in the first step, you're saving up for those hero chest 10 pops, right? Once you hit about 65, those chests really start to lose their value. Once you hit about level 65, stop buying those chests and start saving for gear with your draw coins. All right. And a lot of people ask, well, when you buy the chest of humans or the chest of orcs? Okay, you can. Absolutely. Let's take a look at our, our drop rates. All right. Between 220 and 330 hero shards, 15 shards is at about a 30% drop rate, 12 shards is about a 40% drop rate, and 10 shards is about a 19 drop rate but here's my problem with these and this is why i think they're a waste of resources and i got a dog hair on my hat and this is why now these all look great right well you're going to spend 745 draw coins and you're going to get 20 shards of snorri fantastic what if you don't need snorri star shop currency possibly here we go 15 of Robin Bad. You just flushed 750 draw coins down the tank. It is too much. Unless you are an uber whale or a kraken, 
these are just too much of a risk. Even if you're a baby dolphin or a regular dolphin, these are too much of a risk. Because the more characters that get put in there, the less chances you have of getting the character you want, right? It's just, it's too much of a risk. Unless you are wailing out, crackening out on this game. See, we just got 15 Robin Bad again. 20 Snorri would help us out, but he's super farmable, right? 10 Cruel. Okay, it's going to save you maybe two days. But is it worth that investment of 100, 745 draw coins? Absolutely not. You can stop saving for those chests. It'd be more beneficial for you to go in and refresh her hard node three or four times and only spend 150 draw coins and probably get eight shards than spending 475 and potentially coming out with Robin Bad or Darien shards, which you don't need. Okay? So that's why we don't buy those chests unless you are a whale, kraken, whatever the case might be. So again, just to, you know, kind of talk about it, the hero chest, you're going to stop that right around 65, level 65 or 70. Because the return value on those 10 pops aren't just going to be there. So all you're going to do is just feed your star shop, and that's really not going to help you out much right now. So you're just going to hold off on those hero chests, start saving, you know, continue to buy your energy with your draw coins, refresh hard nodes for, like, Freezard, Cruel, Nightiel. Use that or save for gear, the gear pieces you haven't gotten. So you're going to continue to buy these top pieces here for gold because you're going to need them, right? And as you can see, you could buy a full piece of gear and save yourself energy for 500 draw coins. 1,000 draw coins. Way better, way better than those chests. So we're going to move into the guild store now. And we followed the guild store of, we have Rantha, seven stars. We have Kyra, five star. Then we have Eric Shieldbreaker. We're, once we get Eric Shieldbreaker to seven star, we are going to move back to Kyra, get her to seven star, right? And then we got to refresh and see if it pops. Then we're going to start working on Aurelia, okay? So Rantha, seven star. Kyra to 5 star to help with your arena climb so you can get more draw coins. Eric Shieldbreaker to 7 star. Back to Kyra to finish her off for 7 stars. And then Aurelia. Okay, to arena store. You've been working on Mar. You've been farming Mar. You finished Mar and then you went to Slinger, what I said for the last video. So, you're going to continue. You got Mar 7 stars. You have Slinger 7 stars. Slinger's going to help with your demon comp. Which, Mordoom, even though he did receive a little bit of a nerf with demons, it's still one of the best places to put him in. So that's why we're going to focus on demons, right? So we have Slinger. After Slinger, right, what we're going to do, because Slinger's a relatively fast farm, you're going to move to Major Shot, okay? Mars done, Slinger's done, Major Shot. You get Major Shot done, you're going to start working on Sharp. So that is your goal for the arena. Slinger, 7 stars after Mar. Shot, 7 stars after Slinger. And then start buying Sharp Shards. Okay, next one up is the Tower Currency, right? We were working on Corcrum and Martha bouncing back and forth. You got them both 7 stars. I told you to move to Snorri. So now you have Snorri Shards. Okay, once you get Snorri up to 7 star... We're going to refresh here. The next two to work on, much like you had with Mortha and Corcrum, is Venomate here and Puncher Face. You're going to do the same thing there that you did with Mortha and Corcrum. One, two, unlock, next one unlock, next star, next star, etc., 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 etc. Right? Now, you get those done, okay? The next one you want to try to go after here would be Adam. So, Snorri 7 stars after Mortha and Corcrum. Punch your face, Venomate, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then Adam. Now you're going to continue as you go here to work on Wonder Lua, getting her up with all those extra shards you've got. So now we're going to move over to campaigns to continue our focus there. Now... This is the Dawn of Order campaign. You're going to start putting together your human team, which is really going to be great in here. 
So we're just going to talk about what you're going to want to focus out of Dawn of Order. Continue to push forward. Okay? You, eight six is the spot you really want to shoot for. Eight six is Freezard. Okay? If you get there, that gives you the Freezard spot to farm from. Now, for some reason, to me, the Freezard should, like nodes were the hardest to farm in three star. I don't know why. But even if you can get to the point where you can beat it on auto, you, all you got to do is manually fight five battles. It's not the end of the world. Now, you really want to push yourself to try to finish it off because Dr. Frank's exceptional. But what you want to shoot for in this step is getting your Dawn of Order to 8-6 so you can start farming, even if it's on manual, freeze art every single day. Now, we have Kyra here, but we've already finished her off. So you save that energy. Not too shabby at all. Now, in... Act 7, you have Venomate, so you can farm there if you have the energy. You're already farming Nightiel. Major Shot is there. Fine. Not a big deal at all. We have Puncher Face in 612. That could be used to be farmed. Look at we have we have we've already hit all of our goals in here. We've hit all of our goals in there. Not a problem. All of our goals, Eric Shield Breaker. You can farm there if you don't have him seven stars, four nine. You can use him to farm. We are all done in here. Now, if you have extra energy, Adam is in here on three six. Not bad. 80 energy to just auto him and get him done. But that's up to you. You don't have to do that as of right now. Focus on those other characters like we talked about. Nobody in Act 1. Or Act 2, Sharp is in Act 1, so again, if you get to the spot where you don't have anything to do, you can start working on Sharp, but you don't need to. So there's the Dawn of Order. You're going to really, really push yourself for Freezard at 8-6. That is your goal for this step, is push yourself up to there, and then work on farming Venomate out of here, Nightiel out of here, Major Shot out of here, and Punch Your Face, Eric Shieldbreaker. Rage of Clans. This is where it's going to start getting harder. Your goal is to 3-star 712 for that Freezard node. All right, so you can start farming him more regularly. And in here, this node, you can push up to 8-6 for Amara, but you do not have to. When I was doing this step, I pushed hard to get to 712 because my orcs started dying out on me right around in chapter six somewhere here in chapter six that's when my orcs really were giving me fits and i was having trouble three starring stuff so you really want to you're, you're going to start building up your demon team but your goal is to push these characters to 712 so you will have two spots for freeze art it's going to be tough and you might not get there but that is your ultimate goal so out of here we would be farming freeze art you already have tromgar done Okay, you can start working on Xantara, 7-3. Be a great one. We don't need anybody out of Chapter 6 anymore. Major Shot, 5-12. Selena, you can continue to farm if you really want her, but you don't have to. Nobody in Chapter 3 or 4. Nobody in Chapter 3 either. Nobody in Chapter 2. Oh, Sharp's in Chapter 2, so if you really had to, you could farm out Sharp in Chapter 2, but you do not have to. And then Chapter 1, Adam. You can go in and start farming Adam, but your main goals in here are Freezard, right? Xantara, 7-3. Shot, 5-12. Those are your three main goals, then you can finish off with Adam, etc. as you go. Your runic journey, just continue your runic journey. Plug away, get as far as you can. Use that all. I will have a rune guide at the end of all these steps. Your big one you want to push for here is 4-6. Should be doable with Soleus. Tromgar should be pretty good. You're going to have Freezard coming up. You're going to have some AoE damage dealers. So 4-6 is a reasonable spot because we want to start farming Instructor Gore Ram. As fast as we can. That is another super long, super hard farm. In chapter 3, another one here, 312, we are going to start farming Xantara out of there as well. And as always, continue to farm Cruel. 
Chapter 2, we have Venomate. So if you have extra energy, you can go in there and farm Venomate. And then we have Puncher Face in 112. So you can farm those as well. So that is the main goal for Demons, is you're going to push yourself to that 4-6 for Instructor Goram. Start farming him. All right, so behind me here, we have a list of the favorites, just so I can kind of try to sum it up in a fast way, because I threw a lot at you. So what you're going to have is Soleus continue to gear him out. You have him at seven stars, the main um, person for your human team. Going to continue to grind out Nightiel because of her long, hard farm. I put Dr. Frank on there because if you can get to that node, start farming it as fast as you possibly can. But you probably won't be able to get there with the way I have it put out there, but some people get lucky and can get there. Your main goal is to push for that Instructor Goram node. All right, you're going to start farming him every day. Kyra, okay, you probably have her seven star pretty relatively fast into this step. So she is there. Then you're going to farm those major shot nodes. You're going to continue to farm Cruel every day. You're going to push for those Freezard nodes as hard as you can, and you're going to start farming him every day. You're going to continue to work on Little Batty here from your personal tournaments, whatever they are called there. And then Wonder Lua, you're still farming her out of this shard shop because you're going to start getting more and more currency for that. Then we have Xantara. You're going to farm both of her nodes. Slinger, you're going to get out of the shops there. And you're probably well on your way to having him 7 star. So Eric Shieldbreaker as well. He's got to be pretty close. And Snorri, you're going to then you're going to switch your focus over to the Venomate Puncher Face combination here. And if you have anything left, you're going to then move into Adam. So that's kind of how you want to do it. You're going to focus on building and gearing up your human squad as much as you possibly can. And then shifting your focus to demons slash goblins. And we're going to move on from there. Now for gear recommendations on your humans. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. There isn't a human that I recommended to you that I would not eventually take to gear 11. Any gear you put into Soleus, Freezard, Cruel, Little Batty, Eric Shieldbreaker, and even Snorri to an extent, is worth it. Snorri can be used for a bleed team. He's a good substitution for Cruel. He's kind of a plug-and-play DPS character. He'd be the least one, maybe take him to gear 10. But as far as Soleus, Cruel, Freezard, Little Batty, and Eric Shieldbreaker, I'd take them all to gear 11. So do not fear about putting any gear into those humans at all. So my YouTube family, there it is. There is step two, and we are shifting our focus from unlocking Soleus. We're putting our orcs kind of to the back burner for now, and then we are continuing to farm, get that team ready to unlock more Doom with our humans, and then we are shifting our, our farming focus once we start getting human seven star to demons. And you're going to be able to blow through some of those demons pretty quick. So that's why I also put in the transition into goblins. So that is the way we're going. We have a pretty solid, decent orc team. We are building a fantastic human team to get more doom. And setting ourselves up for a low-level base demon team in step two. So if you have any questions, leave me comments. Find me on Discord. If you're just finding me for the first time, click that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. All that stuff. And that is what I got for everybody. I will see you all in the next one. You know I love y'all. I'm out.